For the ones who get it done, the most important part is the one you need now. And the best partner is the one who can deliver. That's why millions of maintenance and repair pros trust Granger, Because we have professional-grade supplies for every industry, even hard-to-find products. And we have same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders. But most importantly, we have an unwavering commitment to help keep you up and running. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Welcome to Boo Bays. <laughs> and my name is Caitlin. And my name is Joshua. That's right. We're your bays. Boo Bays. Yes, Boo we're back bays. in the house. Ready for some frights. Some frights. Some <clears throat> intro. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I had a lot of feelings about this movie. Okay. Going right into it. I um, feel like it was really polarizing because it's like I wanted to love it, but I also hated it at the exact yes, same time. Exactly. Like there's so many parts that I was like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, uh huh. It's uh-huh. going good. And, and then, then, I was then like, it would, some dumb decision no. or some, yeah, <laughs> yeah there's, exactly. There's one no- part where my notes just go like, they're just <laughs> massive. Ha ha ha. Here, you want me to scoot yeah, that back thank a little you. bit? That's there you perfect. Go. Um, all right, so what are we watching today? We're, we're watching, covering. yeah, we're watching He's Out There, um, which is a film that I found um, just basically scrolling because I was just like, I wanted to watch something that I'd never seen. Yeah, like you know, I'd never, I've never even heard of this. Yeah, me either. And Ever. I wanted, like, I don't know, I just. It's a 2018 film. I found it on Netflix. If anybody's interested, right? I found it on Netflix. I uh, Okay, yeah, I watched it on Prime. It's free on Prime as well. You know what? I think I was on Prime. I'm sorry, I'm getting them all confused, but yeah, I watched it. Um, I didn't honestly. I read the premise of it, and then I was just like, "Click, let's do it." Yeah. I didn't even like look at reviews or anything. Um, which I mean, nowadays, I mean, it's kind of hard to make a strong horror movie. I would say, yeah, just because we're also fucking jaded and like <laughs> don't give a shit anymore, and like we've seen it all. Yeah, but. Yeah, the the premise of it was really interesting to me, which is basically like on a vacation in a remote late house, a woman and her two young daughters fight to survive after falling into a terrifying and bizarre nightmare conceived by a psychopath. Yes. Which really hooked me in. Yeah. I was like Sounds great. Mm. Sounds like classic like kind of slasher. Yeah, and which I did like there were a lot of times throughout the movie um where I picked up vibes of like it really set the tone of like like the strangers mixed with mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Friday the thirteenth. Because yeah. it's on a lake. Yeah. And then mixed with like Cabin in the Woods, mm-hmm. which is funny that you'd mentioned Cabin in the Woods mm-hmm. because I was like, oh, I'm getting like similarities a little bit. Not of, not too much, but it's, it's basically so just because it's a cabin. I've watched Cabin in the Woods that I don't even remember it. I'm excited mm-hmm. for when we do ever get to cover it mm-hmm. um, because, yeah, it, I feel like it's going to be a first time watch again for me. That's awesome. At this I point. I love those moments. Um, um, yeah. So fun fact, though, not fun fact. I mean. It just the little girls, they're actual sisters. Oh, really? Yeah, they're both. So their names are Anna and Abigail Pinowski. P-N-I-O-W-S-K-Y. That's probably not at mm. all how you say it. It's closer than what I would have been. Pinoyski. I don't know. Yeah. And then the mom is Yvonne Stravosky. Mm. Stravosky. Stravosky. Yeah. So I don't know what these names are, but they're intense. Um, but the little girls are actual sisters in real life. Yep. Mm. Their actual sisters in real life. They didn't really look they too didn't similar. They didn't look similar at all. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. That but was a surprising fact. Some people, uh, some people, their siblings and them just don't look the same. That's true. So that's totally fair. And sometimes sibling is a subjected word, even though it shouldn't be. True. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like somebody can say someone, I don't know. Anyways, all right, but they share the same last name, so that works out. Yeah, so I thought that was It could not be biological. Like it could that's be, they true. could they still could be, be sisters, like but they're like marriage. Or or like no, they could be twins. <laughs> <laughs> Paternal, yes, they yeah. could be. But they could be uh, cousins. Yeah, or, and maybe the mom adopted the daughter at some point, so now uh, they are yeah. sisters. Maybe. That's a lot, though. We're not going to get into that. Anyways. Yeah, he's out there. He's out, He is out there. He's out there. So on initial, like f- when the movie first started, did you have like, were you like already thinking like, oh, this is going to be a shit show? <laughs> So I was like, okay, the weird, I did. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the, with the 
weird mouse rhyme thing to bring us in. I was oh, like, oh, that was okay. so much. It was. I was over it. First off, it was, yeah, it went on for a little too long. Kids, annoying intro. Yeah, I annoying didn't Annoying kid like, playing. I didn't like, like the inflection that the child was giving, mm-hmm. but most of the time I just don't like anything that children, children do. Children do, yeah. That was, <laughs> it was like, like creepy, but not in like the creepy way that I want to be creeped out. It was like in the creepy way of like, I was getting triggered. It was giving us also, I could tell that it was setting us up for the, um, the ending mm, like mm-hmm. with the flashes it was giving clearly i mean we saw the wrecked car we saw yeah. a bloody dripping something it's a, we saw a rock with some blood on it mm-hmm. and so like it was a foreshadowing like, yeah i was like okay so we're getting a little bit of the aftermath yeah so now we're gonna get what actually transpired mm-hmm. and they really they really play on this children's book uh, they do. a lot so Basically, it's like something about this little mouse and it's hiding and it says the darkness hides in the light of day. Better run, little mouse, before it comes out to play. Kind of felt like that was. Like did you write that down? I did. Oh, OK. I was like, damn, good. Oh, girl. <laughs> the resident. It must have stuck with you. It. I really memorized this whole book. Yeah. Well, I probably could have with how much they fucking quoted it. They brought it, it up. <laughs> yeah. Brought it up. And then um, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck kind of children's book is this, though? Like, it's a little dark, dark as a little fuck. demented. Yeah. yeah. But it's the way that they found this book in the lake house. Mm-hmm. So which we find out later, which obviously don't go reading books you find in lake houses or cabins don't because it's either like cabins. necromancy or <laughs> or like a fucking demonic children's book. I love camping. I love cabins. I Surprisingly, been. even after all this, I'm like, yeah, mm. I'd still do it. I'd do it, too. Yeah. Um, Especially now. The filter on everything. Mm -hmm. It was a little distracting to me. Mm. It was so filtered. Yeah. Like their skin tones looked. Not natural. Yeah. Like Mm -hmm. is palette a word? That's a word. It's a word. but I don't know if it's the correct usage, but I'm going to allow it. Okay. Me too. Mm -hmm. Because it's our podcast. I felt smart. Do it. You are smart. You are smart. (laughs) You are kind and you are important. Well, smart. Um, But yeah, no, I see what you mean. I, I, it was a little just, it wasn't, I, guess I noticed it. It didn't bother me as much, but I did notice it. It was yeah. just like, there were some movies where it has you, the filter. Y- you felt the same way about Scream 4 too. Remember that filter? It yeah. like threw you off. Yeah. So yeah. But then like in like The Ring, the 2003 mm, edition. Yeah. That, I didn't mind that mm-hmm. because but, it felt more, more subtle. And it's more fitting to the tone of the story as yeah. well. This one was just like, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. It was a little... If they could have just, you know, turned it down, uh, the intensity of it, just mm-hmm. a little bit, and I would have been like, perfect. Um, yeah. But um, who knows? I'm not a director. But basically, um, we're starting off with, like, the mom and the young girls. Um, they're going to go to the cabin in the in the, in the woods. In the woods, <laughs> yeah. So, um, and yeah, they're, they're on their way. Up. They're packing up. Of course, we have a dick-ass dad. Yeah. Who's um, not coming because of some work deal, which is like, He's okay, going to meet them up later. He's probably... He's probably he's you cheating know. on his wife. Yep. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Got to go say bye to the other family before he spends the weekend with this one. Yeah. Um. Daddy's but going on a business trip. Um, literally, <laughs> down the street. Um. And so, yeah, it starts off there. They're kind of setting up that little tone of between the parents, but also like the dad necessarily at this point and up until the rest of the movie isn't that much of a like player in no. the game at all. Um. Yeah. It's kind of stupid. Yeah. And so we have them going on the way to this cabin, this lake house that they go to apparently like every year. Mm-hmm. Um. They're going, they end up meeting, Um. they end up at like the fence, the gate that allows them to go into the property mm-hmm. Um. and they can't get it open. So this like neighbor dude or whoever, drives is driving by and stops by in his creepy truck yeah creepy and it's giving all those like red herring vibes of like oh this guy's up to something because even the daughters are like very mm-hmm. questionable yeah, of like, like who, who are, are you? you why are you walking up to our car right now because it was like it mm-hmm. felt like a creepy pedophilia. creepy pasta like, I was like, mm. mm-hmm. yeah i put owen being creepy as hell but i put he's probably a good guy but fuck the way he's acting <laughs> literally because that's what they want to throw you off mm-hmm. see you a little bit he says he's the local security because there's mm. no one out there, no one else out there except like for his family. Like that ain't family. suspicious. Yeah. Yeah, and sus. Well, year round, I guess yeah. there's no one else out there, so there could have been other people on like the lake visiting, camping. It just didn't really clarify they're dead. that. Yeah, they're just all dead, probably. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, he gives this like little foreshadowing story, uh, tell about like this boy, this family who used to live there as well, but the boy went missing. Johnny boy. Johnny, um, which is really like funny to me that like. 
they go there every year and they but own they this property, this. but they didn't know this. They, they didn't, didn't know, know that Owen. guy. Mm-hmm. Like it was all already kind of like there's some holes here, you guys. Yeah, I was I was a little bit confused about that because like especially later on the one of the little girls uh, says I think it's Maddie. She's like, no, the playroom scares me. Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. And so I was like, clearly they've been here before. How in the world do they not have they not met the only neighbor there? Yeah. And um. Like, yeah. I don't know. And then Owen was like, I was like, he trying to get in her pants. Yeah, for sure. He was um, real fast. So the title card, when we get it, I mm-hmm. did. I did actually like the little scared mouse imagery. Yeah. It was like the little mouse. And then there's a big shadow behind it. And then it just says he's out there on little red writing. And I was like, okay. you like that? Yeah, that was subtle. It like it literally it was so fast. It like was if a I would have blinked. I would have missed it. I think I did miss it because um. I was probably <laughs> writing a note down. But yeah, I thought it was a cute little way to bring in the title that was a because like yeah, they're like scared trapped mice mm-hmm. basically. Th- they are because it is very cat and mouse mm-hmm. for most of the movie. Um, and we have the daughters' names are Kaylee and Maddie, mm-hmm. and the mom's name is Laura. Yes, just so we can get that established. And um, so yeah, like basically the girls, the mom's getting the house set up for their stay. The oh, girls are outside. John oh. was carved on the fence. Oh, that's right. We did see the name John. They like on the to fence. show us the word John a lot. They do. <laughs> yeah, it does. Things. It ends up being on a <laughs> fence, on a book, on yeah. Yeah. Um, but we have mom getting the house ready for this whole you know weekend or whatever trip they're supposed to have, unpacking everything. It's the a girls, cute house. It is. It's I very nice. It. I was like, the girls yeah. are outside. It'd be picturesque as fuck, mm-hmm. Just especially there with on like the lake. Mug yeah. of coffee and, and the they had a little dock on that foggy. lake. Mm. They got money. How do they have a lake house? They must, or they they inherited it? Maybe. Or they just literally rent the same one every year. Mm, and they just mm-hmm. like, maybe they got a timeshare. Oh, that's true. People be doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, so their kids are outside, Miss Maddie and Kaylee. And they're swinging. They're, you know, having a good little time doing what kids do. Being stupid because then they see a red cord. Oh. Right? Yeah. Well, well because they hear a noise. Before that. The, they're all like they're still playing and stuff but that's when the mom gets the phone call from the dad that's right and he's um he's picking up apology gifts essentially mm-hmm. and i did like when he gets to the counter and, and sets down the of course he gets a fucking music box first yeah off. i was like of course it's got to be creepy somehow yeah. and then the bear and um then he asks for the two nicest bottles on real low and the clerk just fucking stares at him and goes so what'd you do <laughs> like, <laughs> literally you're obviously picking up apology gifts yeah but this is where you see the flowers once the mom hangs up the phone with him there mm-hmm. it's where you see that she puts the phone back in the car which yeah. is an important part detail for later but yes then the little kids that's also Watch where like, the little who does girl that? yeah why yeah, just keep it in your fucking pocket literally well, i guess she had a dress on put but it in still. your fucking boob something i yeah, don't know but, but this is where the little girl says the playroom is scary as well yeah um and so then they're outside. But yes, then they're outside. There's a lot of fucking trees. When they pan up over, mm-hmm. I was like, damn, that's trees for miles. I was literally. like, is this a rainforest? They are in the woods, quite literally. <laughs> um, yeah, it, yeah, there's a lot. And so they find this red cord and after they're swinging and they start to follow it. And it's like, you know, like whenever people who are like diving or doing stuff or like don't want to get lost they're yeah, trying yeah, to follow yeah, yeah. a cord kind of thing and so in my mind i'm just like clearly this red cord is evil like where the hell is this going to yeah it's leading that's that's suspicious like now if i ever have kids i will tell them i've got new paranoia it's like, it's like about a, the cords don't yeah. follow weird little cords that you find even though i would have a thousand percent followed that shit if Literally. i was a kid and then if i saw that tea party i would have been like Oh, dope. And I would have fucking ate that cupcake too. You think but so? Yes. And now I'm going to mm. tell my kids, I fucking ate mud as a kid. Of course I'm going to eat a cupcake. I think I so, but I woods. think maybe I would have been suspicious. I don't know. I can't say anything. I don't remember what my youth was like. My fam, like we literally Black grew up out. in like a very similar situation. My brothers and I played in the woods mm. all the time. And because mm-hmm. we lived on a mountain up in North Carolina. And so. And then we would just like sit there and like make our own little yeah. I would make smash potions herbs and, like, and eat mm-hmm. those, and then mud and fire ants. Like we'd eat everything. So uh, I a thousand percent would have ate that cupcake. I'd love to think <laughs> you were that like I fifteen want to know. doing this. Yeah, <laughs> fifteen eating fire ants <laughs> and dog food and cat food. We'd oh play Fear God. Factor a lot. Oh okay. Anyways, did you ever eat a roach? Uh, no, uh, just fire ants. Thank no God. other just other insects. Yeah, just fire ants. Ew. Oh, the thought of being <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Fear factor, though. Anyway, this is some Hansel and Gretel shit. Yeah, basically, <laughs> they're they're they come up to well, in the middle of this. It's like going back and forth between them and the mom as well. Mom's fit AF. Mm, she's I changing. Mean, I was just mom has a nice body. Like she, she was like really fit, which I guess does help throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that comes into play. Um, but there, I really thought there was going to be some more like sexual, um, focus on her because mm. of the way like her eyes aren't blurred out later. But there isn't stuff. really. Yeah, no. Like Which I thought, good. I thought he wanted her mm, essentially mm-hmm. because it, it, he's oh. going to be about the same age. Cause he said, You're Owen right. is the same age. And it's the way that I thought the same thing too, that like, why is the mom going to survive and not the kids? Because at a certain point, that picture that mm-hmm. you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's at, now kind of comes to like, oh, what are the kids doing? Realizes that they're not out like on the swings, mm-hmm. and um, obviously, like any parent is like yelling out for them, trying to find them, and then they end up on the front porch. She hears them, so they're coming in. But and it's, it's the way very clear that Maddie has something. something yes, or and I'm like, how does she not notice? Kayla this? does. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, Kay- Kaylee. Whatever, yeah, whatever. Her yeah, name is. I think it's Kaylee. It might be Kayla, but it's the way that she clearly has something. But the mom is like, they called her KK. Let's call her KK. Uh, KK. The, the, that was my nickname the, growing up. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Well, KK. Yeah. Even though my name is CK. with the C. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. CK. CK. I like CK. CK. That is cute. That's cute. Let's change it. CK. That's my name now. It reminds me of TK from Digimon. Oh, Digimon. Digital They're monsters. Oh, um, oh, sorry. And so, um, <laughs> yeah, they are whatever coming back into this house but she clearly has something and this way the mom is oblivious until they get upstairs and like the little girl also very clearly is like having something under her shirt yeah. and trying to put it underneath the she was not being sneaky at she all she was not literally so. the moment before that like when she was walking up on the steps mm-hmm. i could tell there's she something, had something under, under her, shirt. her shirt yeah there's and, a clearly like, she's cl- clearly hiding something yeah and so the other maddie's on the bed as at this point does she say like that she's not feeling good no i think she just kind of lays down yeah and then yeah and so then the mom she gets up to hide it and Mm -hmm. yeah mom sees kind of but she doesn't see what it is and she's like show me and then the little girl's like no it's for daddy and then the mom's like like, is it alive and i was like does this girl have a habit of bringing dead things into the house is she a cat like Ugh. And then she was like, don't stink up the house. She's like, it smells really nice. Mm. Mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting cupcakes. I wasn't I either, wasn't. though. That, that, that was far from whatever I was thinking yeah, it I was supposed to be. Yeah, I thought she was going to have some sort of little dead animal. Or like some sort of like um, like ritualistic like piece or like some mm-hmm. kind of sacred, like she found something she wasn't supposed to take kind of thing. Yeah, but wasn't expecting fucking that. Fucking cupcakes. Um, and so, yeah, these kids are now, we're getting to her reading the book to them, right? For the bedtime story. Yes, yes. Mm, something like that. Yeah, they're going down. To, they've eaten pizza. They're in their That's PJs. Right. The little, reading yeah. Reading the stupid book. Yet reading again. the book. And the little girl, Maddie, she she doesn't feel well yeah she's like i just want to go to bed mm-hmm. so at this Which point the she, mom gives that face of like well that's odd yeah like so you clearly know like something's not right but okay she's like the story's not even done yeah and so i mean most yeah most kids are like you have to fight them to go to bed mm-hmm. because they're like i'm an adult i want to stay up you know and yeah. and right before that i believe she was just talking to her husband on the phone and he told her that he wasn't going to get there to like 11 or something mm-hmm. like that so she was still waiting on him yeah, she knew they were going to, he was going to be there soon. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so Maddie goes upstairs and like at this point I was like, she looks kind of sick. And then the mm-hmm. older sibling, whenever they, oh, they all get upstairs. Yeah. Go they, to bed. They and all go to bed. she's being a little creepy too. And then KK is. Kay, and then she comes and tells the mom like, hey, like something's not going, something's wrong with Maddie. Before that too, whenever the mom goes back downstairs and is drinking the wine um, out of that little coffee mug, I was like, that's a move. Mm-hmm. Um. But gotta she, do what you gotta do. She punches that little... Okay, first off, yeah, what the fuck is this doll? Oh, yeah, the doll. This doll's creepy as fuck. I'm it assuming is. they found it in the house as well. Mm-hmm. Um, terrifying. Terrifying. That looked like... Oh, God. It kind of reminds me of that one that when they got the BB out of my ear. It looked like that. Oh, really? Yeah. It, but not at quite as, like, mm-hmm. leather face. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good reference. Good callback. But, yeah, this doll is creepy. But then, anyways, the mom, like, kind of punts it with her wine glass. And I was like, bitch, we don't disrespect the dolls. Come on. Not in cabins in the woods. Yeah. For real. But, yeah, then, um, oh, and then at this point, whenever she, she, th- she gets the phone call on the landline. Mm-hmm. And she walks outside, has left the front door open. Yeah, I noticed that open. as well. And she's out there talking to the dad. And then the line cuts dead. 
Um, and she hears some shit moving in the woods. Yeah. And she's like, Ooh. time um, to go back inside. And this is what I put. I was like, this is why I keep all my blinds closed. Fuck this. Like, cause then something was clearly watching her from outside. Yeah. And looking in, you could see her moving throughout the house. And I was like, Ugh. and then, yeah, then little Matt KK comes to wake mom up. And the way she did it was kind of creepy too. Yeah. I think it's just the way they, they're kids. They're creepy. Yeah. Regardless. And it's like standing at mm-hmm. the door. Mommy. Afu up. Wake up. Yeah. Afu up. Yeah. And, and like, so Ooh. she's coming to tell her that Maddie is like acting a little sus. And so they find Maddie and the way that it pans up to her, I liked because it kind of just like it brought on the tension of like, what's fucking wrong with Maddie? Mm Because at that point, I just thought like she was possessed or something. She's in the playroom, too. Yeah, where she gets scared. Where she was scared. And then, yeah, the way that it panned in, I was like, okay. also the little tent gave me Conjuring 2 vibes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ooh. Cricket man. Um, But yeah, I was like, I swear if she's eating some sort of fucking animal, I'm going to be sick. I was like imagining, yeah, she was like kind of possessed and like eating something Something. because her head was kind of down behind and you couldn't see. And And like the slow turn, like. Thankfully, she wasn't. She was just fucking sick. This Mm -hmm. little bitch ate um, something. Poison cupcake. (laughs) Poison cupcake. Um, So she she throws up. um, I liked that scene. uh, It was a really Mm -hmm. good, like. Vomit scene. It gave mm. me Sixth Sense vibes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And the okay. person under the bed yeah, yeah. grows up. I can totally see that. Um, it wasn't like too gross or anything. No, it's artistic. It looked like way. It, it looked like. I mean, this little, this poor little kid was fucking mm-hmm. sick. And yeah. I mean, it was it was nasty, but I thought it was a, I thought it was like honestly a really well shot, like, good job for that little girl. Mm-hmm. She did well. The acting, um, and they find the little note. Yeah, so she pukes again when they're in the bathroom, and that's right because she's like choking on something, mm-hmm. and she's like, the, of course she's like seven or something. Yeah. I don't know. She's got to be pretty young, and she's shoving her hands down her throat, and her mom's like, "Hey, get your hand out of the way. Let me get it," mm-hmm. and pulls it out, and then just throws it to the side because she's worried about her her daughter daughter choking, yeah. and then Matt or KK goes, "Mommy, what is that?" And she picks it up. And it's a little ribbon yeah. with the word hello written on it, which is... Which is creepy as fuck. Creepy as fuck. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. no, no. <laughs> and so my note just says, like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah, I put what the fuck, hello written on the ribbon. Yeah. yeah. And then it pans back, too. So then it shows us... We never got to see the end of them following the rope. Mm-hmm. And so at this point, it pans back to that. And it shows us that mm-hmm. they found a tea party Mm -hmm. and they found the cupcakes yeah and there were cupcakes and um of course they were excited and uh, yeah yeah and so maddie ate her cupcake but kaylee was saving hers for her dad Mm -hmm. and so that's whenever psa to all children and adults don't eat random forest food Mm -mm. random forest food you find probably poison yeah put it back probably toxic let uh, probably going to kill you yes that's creepy as fuck yeah, and so um, the mom at that point goes. She's like finding the cupcake up there in mm-hmm. the in the drawer, um, and then that's whenever I think she wants to like call the her boo again, right? Yeah, her husband. And she cuts open the other cupcake. First off, it's like filled and with like an, green. Ooze. Yeah, it's like. I was like, is this it like looks Drano? disgusting? Literally, look like it. And how did that little girl just like? Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. and like oh, this tastes great. <laughs> Literally, I was like, oh, I can guarantee you, whatever that gelatinous Ugh, material is it in there, gross. not. Not yeah, the texture's got to be all wrong. Well, mm-hmm. the little kids will eat anything. We'll eat anything. Uh, but yeah, then the other one said goodbye, and so mm-hmm. that's a that's a little bit creepy. Yeah. Um, and so yes. they're at that point. I think she's trying to call her her boo thing, right? And then like the the landline's obviously cut, mm-hmm. and then she start they start hearing noises upstairs. Yeah, weird loud right. bangs. Yeah. It sounded like something rolling. I was expecting like a ball to come down the stairs, <laughs> a bowling ball, something. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, like, it's the way. The like, do you think that was like upstairs, like in the house, right? Uh, yeah, it had I to think be in so. the house, not just roof. Like yeah. that was someone like. No, yeah, it sounded like someone was up. Yeah, upstairs, oh, wow, creepy. Cool. Yeah. Um, but um, yes, I think I yeah. think someone was in there. I liked the way that she did not hesitate to grab that knife at all. This bitch was like, mm-hmm. "Phone lines are dead. We're hearing some weird shit." She grabs a knife immediately. I was she's like, seen Dateline. She's seen some movies. She job, knows what's girl. going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So then at that point, um, mom is going outside to the car because she wants to go. Uh, she get the phone, right? The cell phone. Yeah, and she's like, "Turn the lights off to see outside the window." Mm. And I don't know. <laughs> it's the way that she that let is the this kids. Part. In the dark. Mm -hmm. I thought it was smart. It was a smart move trying to like turn the lights off so she could see out. But then just 
dip in and leaving her kids in the dark. Like, turn the fucking light back on before you walk out the door. Right? Yeah, and at that point, was that before or after they've seen the picture? Uh, this is before still. Before, right? So, and um, also just quick note. I mean, I love the little girls. They did act pretty well, for, I feel like, the most part throughout this movie. But there are some points where I was just like, the screaming is not just like applicated for all reactions yes. like they were screaming a lot they were and then but then i was trying to like imagine a, a little, little kid, kid in that actual situation i was thinking of my niece and i was like she would probably be terrified yeah because mm-hmm. uh, there were a few times where i was like okay kk shut up like <laughs> yeah you, you need to grow up a little slap bit slap her a little bit <laughs> she shake her up because she's losing her goddamn there shit so many times where i was like okay you need to get your shit together you're gonna die you are gonna kill all of us literally <laughs> she kept fucking up i was so pissed at her every time she would make some stupid decision like, i don't want to carry me too i was like Bitch, she can't the carry the can't both, carry of you. both of you you are like nine <laughs> or like whenever she's like trying to stall and like hold them back at the next yeah, i was scene, like i was like no go, go. no yeah I she was quite literally a deer caught in headlights yeah which yeah. poor girl like i understand and but survival of the fittest i would have said nope all right bye mm-hmm. yeah i'm like okay we'll come back for you literally um but yeah so <laughs> yeah she's out there the phone is gone she finds out mm-hmm. the mom laura does when she gets to the car and it's like damn and then then uh, my closed captioning kept calling it demonic giggling mm, okay <laughs> i don't even have closed captioning on i think at this time i did so i didn't see it so um, but i know what you were hearing funny laughter coming, coming from, from the, the woods. woods yeah it was really amplified so i was just like okay. i was like how is that so loud and how does it sound like surround sound yeah like so i was just a little bit because it wasn't necessarily coming from a single spot it was like everywhere yeah and like so this, this person or like set up literally speakers everywhere around the fucking which area maybe he did As with what he does with the dad later and it was a long time plan so yeah so who knows yeah but the demonic giggling i was like okay that's mm-hmm. that's kind of weird but um then she looks in the back seat and we find that the weird dolly is wrapped up in the car which means he's already been inside, inside that house. house yeah he's already been in there and i was like that is creepy I was like, oh, it's a gift for mommy. Yeah. And then the mom's like, okay, fuck, we need to get out of here. So mm-hmm. she goes back in. And this is where little girl's like crying. I put little girl needs to stop crying and fucking run. Yeah. Like she's sitting there. Oh, she's carrying me too. And then, yeah, gets onto the porch, freaking They're out. They're trying to get back into the vehicle. And at this point, the window explodes. Yeah. Which I was like, but, see, is I, there a gun? I, that's what I said. I was like, OMG, was that a gunshot? Because it like just like, yeah. sh- or BB. It could have been a BB gun or yeah, something or maybe smaller. A rock. It's the way that it, like, just the way that it was, like, it the, just, the impact, it was very, like, glass shattering, like, explosion almost. Yeah, like, I didn't oh. see anything. Yeah. It hit it, and it just, so I, at this point, was thinking, okay, maybe we do have a demon on our hands mm. because of the demonic giggling and yeah. stuff that we were hearing. And then, you know, the fact that she was weird and sick, like, maybe there's some sort of hex going on. And it's true. She could have been possessed or, like, something like that. But, I, I mean, I don't know. Once that window blew up, I don't know if I'd still try to get into the car. Mm-hmm. Um, but okay uh at this point did you think like john's got something to do with this where's this john guy oh i mean the moment john was mentioned was mentioned at all it's like okay he's the bad guy yeah so i i thought maybe uh, i had a few different ideas in my head i was like maybe owen's in on it i was kind of hoping that the dad would come and kill them all Mm. um but that didn't happen and then (laughs) but i was like maybe not i I figured john was the person who was going to be everything Uh, they made it so abundantly clear. See, I, mm-hmm, both. See, I thought Owen was going to be involved too because he was going to be there. Because at the beginning, when he told the story, there was two. There was two brothers, wasn't there? And one of them died. Didn't he say that? No, oh, I don't know. Okay, I don't remember that, but I, I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, they had like two kids, but like their their son died. Well, the younger son. Sad. I don't know. So I thought like he could have been in on it as well. And was the other okay? Because uh-huh. okay. I'm like also the way it was set up. There was like it was very intricate, like the tea party, the ropes, all the like noises going on. It was. I mean, homeboy is like the he's putting in the extra work. Yeah, like, yeah. Like Michael. Um, and so, anyways, the yeah, the fucking window explodes, and at this point, they're freaking out. I'm freaking out because I'm like, what the fuck is gonna happen? Yeah, now? what's going on? They get in the car, yeah. and mom's backing up, and I'm sorry, but the way these wheels oh, came off, I was cracking up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, um, I think I wrote it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that looked fake as fuck. It did. But, um, and then the giggling is still happening from all around. And I was yeah. like, okay, this giggling's a tad silly. But I will say, whenever, like, 
the mom fell out of the car, it mm-hmm. looked like it fucking hurt. Mm-hmm. The way she hit her head and then her body collapsed, I was like, yeah. oh, shit. Um, so basically the wheels came off this vehicle, you guys. It's a very bad side. CGI moment, but like. It looked like they literally catapulted off. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and so. Um, I guess he had just unscrewed all the lug nuts though. Yeah, and, and the, then, the wheels just came off. Yeah. Literally. Um, and so they're like <laughs> flop sided mm-hmm. <laughs> and she's got to get these kids out now and they're getting out. It's tough to get out. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I put like these clown like laughs are ruining the mood of what's yeah, happening. Yeah. It, um, it was ruining it for me. And too. I'm just like, okay, mom, get it together. Um, so it's at that point what they start, they run back inside because yeah, there's back nothing inside. else to do. Poor Maddie is like literally fucking dying at this yeah. point. She is wheezing so badly. This little girl going to die. Poor little girl. Um, she needs medical attention ASAP. Yes. And the mom runs upstairs, fucking drops all the Benadryl down the goddamn sink. Mm-hmm. She saves one pill. Mm-hmm. And I was like, girl, I didn't, get th- I didn't get that. She opened it and then they all spilled in the sink. Yeah. Because, I mean, obviously she's shaking from adrenaline, but like maybe don't fucking open it over the sink where you can waste. What What if I thought yeah. I thought at first she had wasted all of it and then I saw she had saved a pill and that, I was like, you yeah. could have literally just killed your daughter. She could have. And that correlates with my notes because I'm like, OK, mom, get it together. This little yeah. girl's going to die. Yeah. And okay. then she sits there and she's like, I liked that we got a non mirror scare mm-hmm. like. So there was nothing there in the mirror, but it gave us plenty of the opening and closing mm-hmm. of the a good little medicine fake cabinet. Out. Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, okay, good. I like that. Um, and then I she got... stood there for a little bit, like oh, yeah. looking in the mirror. And I was like, girl, your Having daughter is dying yeah. downstairs. Like, and mm-hmm. you just wasted almost all of the medicine. What the fuck are you doing? Get downstairs. Feed your little baby to this Benadryl right now. Literally. You dumb bitch. Um, and that's probably what she was saying in her mind, but couldn't even fucking move. Um. But yeah, so she's yeah goes and gives her the little little Benadryl. Um, but I mean, clearly, obviously, what is that gonna fucking do? <laughs> yeah. This little girl's poisoned. Yeah, and I mean, clear she is having some sort of like allergic Reaction. with her closing, uh, like her and throat, so hopefully it breathe. would mm-hmm. and histamine would counteract some of that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, at this point, I mean, she's gonna just keep vom. Like the mom needed to the moment she found out that was a poison cupcake, she needed to induce vomiting. Yeah, she needs to go get her stomach pumped. Yeah, mm-hmm. like and if she knows that she can't do that, there she needs to be shoving her fingers down that little girl's th- throat until she keeps She's throwing throw up. up. Yep, until there's nothing left. Yep, and then pumping her full of water. Yeah, um, but um, I don't know. I'm not poison control. S- true that. One eight hundred CK. Um, so yeah, they're hearing more noises outside. Um, and they're going to investigate, which is like, yeah, hmm. why? Um, and, but obviously at this point too, they're, they're super like confused, I'm assuming, because they like, they don't know at this point, like they haven't seen anything and yeah. anybody. So it's like, what the hell is happening? Mm-hmm. Like what is going on? Um, and so they get into the living room, right? And that's whenever the mom turns off the lights, right? Or oh, they no, were at this point there's the, that was earlier, but they're still on and she's walking up to the window mm. and we get that nice little, I did like the shot of yeah. peeking right through the curtains where she's walking up, walking mm-hmm. up and you're like. Uh, what's that's, gonna happen yeah and she walks up to it and that's whenever the uh photo's there yep the fun mm-hmm. little family photo where only the mom is not scratched out yeah and which is why i really mm-hmm. thought she was in a survivor he wanted her something yeah she was more important of like a role she was gonna be some sort of like queen or mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. like you know yeah. he wanted to make his own little family with her as the head of it that's yeah which yeah. we never really get that explained. But, yeah, um, there's a photo. Eyes are scratched out of dad, the little girls, but not mom. Mm-hmm. And then um, it's the way that I, dad should almost be there. Yeah, at this um, point I was like, oh, and, yeah, dad's rolling up. And I was like, yeah, yeah. dad's finna die. Mm-hmm. So he's rolling up. He comes <laughs> up and notices that, like, the fence, this gate, he can't get into the gate just like they couldn't get earlier. But he sees that little note that says, follow me, and he sees a red cord, another red little cord uh, yeah tied into the trees and uh at this point to kayla <laughs> i put kayla maddie is gonna die if you don't get your shit together because they were freaking out again and this mm-hmm. is where they go upstairs and the mom's and that's kayla, right K- or maddie throws up onto the mom's arm and then she's saying well daddy's already here mm-hmm. and she was like what do you mean uh, and she said he's under that tree and i was like please 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 do not let the girl see their dad's corpse yeah i was afraid he was already dead mm-hmm. because he was like we saw him like kind of driving up earlier and um he hadn't stopped yet it was just it kind of panned to him and i was like okay yeah the dad's about to die and now a word from our sponsors
But um, so then the mom's like, who is here? And then she looks out the window Mm -hmm. and there's just this figure of a man standing beneath the tree Mm -hmm. looking at them. And then he slowly raises his arm and waves. Yeah. And then walks off. And I was like, that was that was pretty fucking creepy. Yeah, that was. I was like, ooh, ooh. I would be scared out of my mind. And it's the way that well, that they like walk off, and it pans to the book in the room, mm-hmm. and it's got John's name on it. Yep, and it's like, oh, okay. I was like, which I was put, not there. Uh, I don't. I don't know if that was there before. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I guess we never really saw the spine of the book. Yeah, we didn't. But it's also the way that it gave me very like. Why is it etched into that too? Yeah, That's weird. It gave me very like when things get etched into things like in a magical way mm. after the fact, not like it was always there kind of thing. Yeah. Like in a spiritual demonic way. And mm-hmm. I was like, huh, that's weird. Yep. But the book was John. So yeah. it's like, oh, but yes, now dad gets out. Mm-hmm. Gates closed. Finds that red string. And I put do not follow that string, b- bitch. My, like my bitch ass would have been like, it is fucking 11 p.m. at night. There's no We're time. not. We're not playing. These we're games. not playing low games like this. Yeah. Fuck that. I would have been like, no, that's weird as fuck. And then I would have just kept getting through the fucking gate yeah like I, well a i would have probably just walked around it mm-hmm. in all honesty because he could have i would have parked my car got my shit walked in been like trekked, hey check the rest of the way there yeah give me the keys mm-hmm. and because it's not like it was a long walk from the gate to the I don't it, think it, wasn't. it wasn't no and so i would have just been like hey give me the keys i'm gonna go mm-hmm. hey i'm here blah blah yeah like i wouldn't have gone to follow that little red string and he uh, he starts saying kind of the same thing, but he calls Laura and he's hearing her phone ring in the direction of, yeah, of where the, the string in the woods, mm-hmm. essentially. And so he's like, OK, and Fine. it's the way that he's like out saying out loud. Too, he's like, what is this? Like, you know, y'all can prank me. Is this a prank? Yeah. Or? He was like, come on. Can we just prank me tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. And so um, that, of course, starts following the red rope. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like. Okay, you got me. I'm I'm scared, and I was like, "Yeah, you should be scared, bitch." Yeah, <laughs> you about to die. So he's outside, and he's walking through. He's getting through all of this shit. It's dark as fuck, and it's the way that like, <laughs> and he's using his phone like this. I'm like, turn on your fucking flashlight. Yeah, it was clearly a smartphone. Like you yeah. had. I know you had a flashlight, bitch. Don't use your screen light. No one. I do that sometimes, and then I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I can't yeah. see anything. <laughs> but I did really like the way that, like, his acting, and I guess the way that they had the lighting on that mm. frame mm-hmm. or that whole scene, because it did give the, like, man, this dude is literally walking in the middle of the dark at night in the woods, mm-hmm. like, following a rope yeah. that says, follow me. Yeah. Fuck him. It's all fuck kinds that. of wrong. Um, but, yeah. He and stumbles th- upon a fun scene. Which is the little tea party Weird kids tree table family. that. family. The kids were at earlier, but now there's like this little tree family around it. Yeah. Um, they're made out of uh, trees and whatever, yeah. you know, just Lumber. kind of. Mm-hmm, and I mean, but like very like it took someone took time to carve <laughs> these fuckers out. Giant ass dolls. Yeah, yeah. Literally just sitting there. Um, And at that point, that's whenever we get to see homeboy's face. Mm-hmm, the, Plus creepy face guy. He looked like a like a the real murderer. Bacon wrapped chicken or something. Did I actually liked the mask. I did too. Yeah, I thought I, it was good. I, I thought it was creepy. Like yeah. it was very scary. It was effective. Yeah, well no if I fuck that if I saw that shit in real life, uh uh-uh. uh. I'd be freaking out. I would have killed myself. Especially if the man had the axe in his hand and toe. I was yeah. just like no. I, I I put plus creepy <laughs> I put weird tree family plus plus creepy face guy. I like just that. like <laughs> just like walks up to him and just like grabs axe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank Doink. you. Literally. I, let me help. <laughs> Literally. Um is this the part where I die? Yeah. Um but yeah, so they're d- dad I'm like dad's dad. Yeah, but put damn RIP shit dad. Yeah. You suck, but yeah. You're dead. Yeah. And, and then uh, this is again where I was like, please, 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 for the love of God. Because the, oh, the thudding happens on the roof. Because mm-hmm. it I was happens like, really immediately right after that. Yeah. And I was like, I swear to God, if they show these poor little girls their dad's corpse. Like, uh, oh, throughout like, the, the last, the third act of this movie, it's the way that I'm like, these little girls are either going to be so traumatized that they're not going to be able to function in life. Or they're going to be so traumatized that they're going to turn into murderers, mm. psychopaths. I feel because like. Because of like everything yeah, that's happening so this young movie. that this is happening I yeah was like, i mean they could be just turned into total badasses like sydney um, um but but it's, who knows? it's a 50 50 one of them might and the other one might be bad yeah yeah but um yeah they hear this loud thudding they're like fuck and then that's the whenever uh laura the wife starts hearing sean's voice mm-hmm. um like being and it's basically you're hearing what he was saying earlier in the woods calling out for her yeah at first i was like Okay, it must have recorded them, but then I was like, oh, 
it because then it starts line by line replaying his, what he was saying when he was in the woods and so yeah. i was like oh, okay it just recorded that whole phone the call, call. Mm-hmm. and it's just playing playing that. it out loud like, and so Ooh. she's kind of getting confused like is that my husband or not my husband out there yeah um, and i was like oh fuck dude I'm i hope like, we don't hear Sean. i hope we don't hear him being murdered Mm, I was like, oh. very scream one moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, no, even worse. Um, she walks out and there's the little tape recording that she finds of like the conversation. So that's what she was hearing and it says, I'm home. And then it. the rope just starts falling. Mm-hmm. And it's where you're like, oh, fuck. And I love how the rope falls and it goes all the way and it like kind of plops there. And you're kind of left with like nothing for like a yeah, good f- like five, the, 10 seconds. A big rock comes down at first. And yeah. so I was like, Oh, and then then the body gets thrown off. And so the body literally rose off and literally just imagine your husband dead falling like right in front of you. And of course, she's like screaming her head off. I was like, oh, fuck. There he is. Yeah, he's dead AF. Yeah. And eyeballs ripped out. mm -hmm, They took his damn eyes. Mm -hmm. She's having to like. I Ooh. mean, obviously, and then you obviously just lost your husband. And then the girls are like trying to come out. She's like, no, don't. She's Please don't look. Yeah. Stay inside. Um, and it's, girls. yeah. So, and it's the way that like they're, uh, sh- she's basically saying, what'd you say? Cause they're like, is that daddy? Right. And she's mm-hmm. like, it's not daddy. It's like, yeah. And she, like, then they're like, yes, it is. I saw him. And yeah. she's like, no, that's not daddy. Um, um and so, yeah. Um, then the power gets cut. Mm-hmm. They're inside the house again. The power's cut. And I was like, the mom's trying to, she's, tr- she tells them to hold on to her fucking belt that's loops. That's right. Yeah. And, Cause and she asked Maddie if she can run. And then she's like, come on, like, we're going to run. And I was like, no, y'all need to hide. Yeah. I said, you do not like, need to be running. There's nowhere that you could get. Yeah. You don't need to be running out in the dark where you don't know shit. Where would you even go? Yeah. This is obviously, you're miles away from any type of, like, help. So mm-hmm. it's like, where would you go? And, yeah. You're safer barricading yourself inside the house until morning light. and Because then- obviously, whatever is out there is hunting you. Uh-huh. And it has the upper hand. It clearly knows this land. Mm-hmm. You clearly do don't. Not. Yeah. yeah, you don't need to be risking your life running out there. You're exposed. You're literally, when you're not in the trees, you're in the wide open. And he could be in there, and who knows what he could have. Yeah, I would have literally barricaded myself in some closet, locked all the doors, all the windows, tried to put, like, a barricade in front of that door, and then, like, be in there with, like, knives galore with mm-hmm. the kids. And, like, yeah. just ready for him when he does come to, like, actually try and do the deed. Yeah. Um, But, you know, that's us ending the movie about 40 minutes too soon. Yeah. So <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> So, of course, yeah, they run outside. They um, run outside. Oh, my gosh. They get egged. Yeah. So they run and they <laughs> get to the, the fucking uh, swing set. And I was like, oh, look, that's the same uh-huh. picture that was drawn in their book. That's right. And because the mom had mentioned it earlier and she was like, did you draw, draw this, this in the know. book? And then she was like, no, it's just been there. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it's the same scene. It's two kids sitting on the swings with a person in between it. And the person was hanging, mm-hmm. which wasn't. They weren't hanging in the book, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, and then the eggs start getting thrown at them. I lost my. I laughed so much. Yeah, was like, well, I, was I was like, like "Is that an egg?" <laughs> I was like, "What?" Oh, th- he was throwing the book or th- the books, the eggs, pretty hard, and I was like, "This motherfucker's like, you know, like Buddy the Elf with this like yeah, snowball." Yeah, literally. Arm. Yeah, I was like, "This is this motherfucker with eggs." <laughs> literally, the way it like hit the mom, and I was like, "Wait, what was that?" And then the little girl got hit, and then I see them like on the house, and I'm like, "They're literally getting egged." Yeah, like I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Which the torment. I was like, the torment. Uh, yeah. Which then I was like, oh, because whenever the mom puts two and two together, she's like, oh, yeah, like the fucking car. I had asked your dad to get eggs. Mm-hmm. And so she was like, oh, we can get out. Yeah. So I, I think it was like important there. But like yeah. I didn't I, I at first was like, why the fuck eggs? I didn't put it. To, I and didn't then put I was like, I was like, oh, oh yeah. it's because they were in the car. OK. OK. Mm-hmm. That's why there's some eggs. John homeboy was just getting anything he could. <laughs> he could, he really was. I was just, okay, it was a little, I don't know. I laughed. I thought it was so funny. I was like, <laughs> are you kidding me? They're, I was like, of all the things, like now they're just getting egged. I was like, that is sick torture. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, yeah. And so these little girls are once again screaming their heads off. and They, they make it back inside. They go oh, th- where they should so have been the whole time. In and out, in and out. So they, they go back inside this house cabin. Um, and that's the way that at this point I'm thinking like, shouldn't this little girl be dead by now? But she's like keeping up with them. Yeah, she is. Uh-huh. I guess that Benadryl worked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and they're standing there in the like kitchen and one of those whole ass doll people gets thrown through the fucking window. Yes. And then <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Up. Oh. Okay. Oh my God. Yes. 
He does that part. It. He chunks it through. I don't know why I didn't even remember that until now. I haven't seen this movie since Wednesday, you guys, or Thursday when we decided to watch it. <laughs> um, but yes. Oh my god. And is that at that point? Hold on. Let me look at my notes. Oh my god. Yeah. So it's about to happen. But I put he's basically uh, just protecting his property, right? Like, at that he point, lived there. yeah. Uh, um, y'all are invaders. <laughs> my gosh you know because i oh yeah yeah you're right you're right okay so the little thing gets thrown into there and then they're freaking out and this and is when they finally start to barricade themselves in into the room and then that's whenever they're up that window and at this point we see the neighbor is like um yeah Owen, I, I did like right? the um sweet this is where we also realize about the eggs so mm -hmm. the, it was like the mom sitting there looking under the door and she's like telling them we have to wait until morning and everything's going to be all right and mm -hmm. then she starts like breaking down and I was like, she's definitely more so trying to convince herself at this yeah, point, I think. That they're going to be okay. But then the sweet little girls come and they pile onto her and they're crying. Yeah. They're all crying together. And she's, you know, trying to make sure no one's getting to the door. And then that's when she picks the egg out of Maddie's hair and is mm -hmm. like, oh, right, the fucking car. Yeah. So she has to go down there. And, uh, uh, but at this point, I was like, you think he didn't break the other car too? Yeah. At this, like, he's done mm -hmm. so many other things. Of There's no course way out. the other car There's is going to be broken. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't, mm -hmm. but surprisingly. Yeah. And so, but I was like, that's, that's pretty sad that she has, at this point she has to go down there to get the keys. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that was, that was, I don't know. And she tells the little girls to wait in the closet and count down to 20 and she'd be back. And, uh, mm -hmm. that closet scene's pretty spooky. Yeah. Having to look out through those little, it was like a, um, like a mm -hmm. wicker, a woven. Mm -hmm. So you just see like through like caning. holes. Yeah, yeah. little holes. Mm -hmm. And kind of like I would imagine, like priest, like when you go to the priest, mm -hmm. almost kind of like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like for confession or whatever. I'm yeah. not Catholic. I don't know. Me neither. Um, but yeah. Um, so at this point, so, oh yeah. So she's out there and she's trying to get to the car, right? Yeah. So she goes and uh, she gets the, she gets the things and then she comes back up to get the girls. And I put like, come on y'all, the best bait best bet is to just wait it out yeah. like stop it but yes and then they're hearing somebody rummaging downstairs mm -hmm. and, and she's like, like get out of my please, house please that's right Owen. because uh, we did get a pan up of his car rolling up mm -hmm. earlier yeah so it, we know that possibly owen could be here yeah and um of course it's not him inside the house uh, that person just goes away Mm -hmm. and yes now we're and looking then, out the window and then we're looking out the window now we see owen coming up and he's walking up and he's like he honks right someone honks is it him honking he honks because he's like and then he hops out of his truck and he's just like what's happening and he starts walking up and yeah. finally he sees her at the window after he's flashing the the flashlight strong ass flashlight by the way yeah it was um and so then uh at that and point, of course she's, she's like, banging on oh, it. God, she's banging on it. He can't hear. She's screaming at the top of her lungs. And then, of course, the killer is right behind him. And it's the way that, like, He's up like, until what? the last minute, she finally decides to break that damn window with her elbow. And I'm just like, God damn, fuck. Like, you couldn't have done that, like, 30 seconds earlier? Yeah. Like, it could have saved. It probably would have saved his life. And, and of yours. course, the fucking window wasn't opening and stuff. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so it's just... Two seconds too late. She yells behind you. And then so Owen turns around into the axe, into yeah. his face. <laughs> as, Literally dead. As Johnny boy is swinging it. It was good practical effects. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I actually did like that little kill. Yeah. And it was good. I, I feel like it did come with a nice, mm -hmm. like a. Yeah. The sound, sound effect. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, it's uh, he's dead. Mm -hmm. She broke the window. They're freaking out. Um. <laughs> I have my notes as we hear all oh, the killer wrote their own book. What is that? Oh yeah. So I feel like he just like, wanted a, a friend. Um, but yeah, so they get back downstairs, the power's back on as they run downstairs again. And, um, at this point the mom's like, they're in the kitchen trying to figure something out. She looks over the doll is fucking sitting there on mm -hmm. top of the children's book. Yeah. And, uh, but he's just a children's book artist, y'all. Um, illustrator, but he essentially tells, his whole evil plan. I was like, mm -hmm. boy, you can't ever tell your whole story like that. Come on. Yeah. Come on, bacon face buddy. Let's go. Um, She's reading the book and it's the way that I, this is just the most exciting part for me throughout the whole movie. And I don't know if I'm about to jump a, a few seconds or frames, but whenever she's in front of that door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause it happens right after okay, that. Okay. Yeah. And so, cause she just got done reading it and then she's basically like, we have to get out of here. And so she's trying to, 
get through the window and then mm-hmm. she's at the front door it's a sarge window nightmare and on elm street literally style. my no damn <laughs> mom just got yoinked like the man like the mom from nightmare on elm street <laughs> by freddie but so not quite gets, as comical yeah. with her little feet trying and to it, fit it was such the... a good shot though like she literally he breaks through the window and yoinks her outside mm-hmm. it was so fast crazy yeah i was like damn I um, was like, oh shit, they got mommy. But they had fake doll mommy though on the ground in yeah, there with them. Did. So, mm-hmm. oh good. yeah, because he didn't even break the window. The window was already broken from the mom That's doll right. being yeah. thrown through and it. And he just like pulled her out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was waiting there, real, real creepy like. Yeah. And at this point after that, I put, oh my God, these kids deserve to get murdered. I don't <laughs> know why. So, well, Kayla grabs the fucking knife and I was like, mm. what the hell? And then she says, do you want to hold. Do you want to hold the knife? So the and Maddie. the knickknack paddy wax song is now playing over mm-hmm. some speakers. Um, and then, yeah, she a- asked Maddie if she wants her to hold, like, like, to hold the knife. This knife is literally s- the size of her thigh. Literally. So huge. And it we're going to give this little girl this knife. Body. She's already sick. Yeah. And so, and then she's like, you want me to go first? I was like, bitch, if you go in first, you need the fucking knife. Yeah. Or get a second smaller knife for Maddie. <laughs> So these little hoes, they're going out, they're walking out, they're... The way she's she's running with a knife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's just swinging around, I said. I'm like, they're going to get hurt. Oh, no. Um, but they end up finding the vehicles, Ow. right? Sorry. Yes, yeah. So the, mm-hmm. s- the music is vehicle. coming from the dad's vehicle. Yeah, that's right. And um, so they're in there. They see the little gift-wrapped boxes in the mm-hmm. back and stuff, and they're like, what the hell? And then they hear thudding coming from the... Trunk. Yeah. So they go to investigate, and I was like, please, 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 please let this mom be alive. And she was. Yeah, and she was alive. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's the way that as soon as we find out she's alive, here comes Killer Man Uh right behind. (laughs) When the daughter went to go cut the tape off of her mouth, she takes a giant ass knife. And I was like, oh, she's going to cut her mouth. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, yeah. I was like, like, this is bad. This little girl's not coordinated enough for this. (laughs) But she cuts off the the tape over her mouth, and the mom's screaming. and then Like, get away. Yeah, and as soon as the kids run away or or, like get out of the way, Axe Man comes back, John, and fucking just axes her right in the the stomach, hip bone, belly. Like, oh my god, yeah. I was like, I put ouchie. Oh yeah, that looked like it fucking hurt. (laughs) Uh, Oh, and then they're running, and then now they've seen Dad. Yeah, so the kids are Mm. scared, freaking out. They run back to the house, and it's like as soon as they're walking up the front porch, they run into their dad's dead body. (laughs) Yep. And it's like his eyes are all gouged out, and I'm just like, oh, these kids. That's where I put my note. Like they're gonna be traumatized forever. Yeah. They're gonna yeah not be okay. Isn't it? Mm -mm. Yep. And so dad's dead. They the KK is holding Maddie saying, it's not dad. It's just a trick. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that's what I am. And they go inside and they pick the worst hiding spot. They really do. Ever. And I, I, at this point I put, I was like, can't wait for the boss ass bitch moment where mama pulls the axe out of her side and kills this motherfucker. Mm. I really thought that was going to happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ish. 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 Yeah. I like... I, I have a note later Happens on that ish, I'll yeah. get to. But, but um, um, yeah, so they're hiding in the bedroom. They go upstairs and they're like underneath this bed. And I'm just like, why would you hide under the bed? That's like the that's most l- obvious. Literally like, the literally first place I would, I would check, literally. And so, um, especially with little kids. And mm-hmm. so, yeah. John, I put now th- I need some sort of trap door or something under my bed because I am a little fucking paranoid little after cubby this. little hiding spot. Yeah. I need some sort of safe route. Mm-hmm. safe place that I can hide for when all, all these times. murderers come, come at my house. <laughs> and so dad, oh yeah. So John comes in and he's in the house now. He's actually now going, and it's the way that they ran upstairs, right? And they left all the doors open behind them. Mm-hmm. They, they, didn't they lock closed anything. the one bedroom door, but, but yeah, they, didn't, they didn't, didn't lock, lock it. it. Yeah. And so he just gets in there and he just sits on the bed and he's having a conversation with them. He's like, it's okay to be scared. Mm-hmm. Um, I, 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 he's, I put, at this point, I was like, he's high key kind of fit. <laughs> <laughs> I said probably from lugging all those dolls around. Literally. But I was like, you know, his he's been living in the woods. Yeah, he's been living in the woods. Man of the woods. Um, I didn't like his little talking monologue. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was like, why is he talking? Just kill him, bro. Yeah. Just kill him. And then. Because at this point, he's just kind of talking to them. He's like, I never understood the. I never got the answer right to that book. Yeah, and but I then, was wrong, just like you. And then he says he says something the like, "The darkness is me." And literally, and like lifts the bed as if those memes when people like flip tables, and the bed literally does just like flip. It flies. Oh my god! Like the string. I like mean, it yeah, just he's flies. like I said, he's fit. But and, and I he, lost my shit. I was like actually <laughs> laughing. I am the darkness. The, it's very Bane. Yeah, from like exactly. I was the like, Dark Knight Rises. Batman? <laughs> like. 
Come and so on. He, he literally, and then at this point, he had put this little jar of like, and it's the way I already knew. I was like, oh, bad. Oh, man. Puts a little napkin in there, I a little thought handkerchief. It was like moonshine. No, <laughs> it's, like it's chloroform. chloroform. And he just chloroforms this little girl <laughs> as they're screaming yeah. and kicking. And it's like very, like, oh, my God, this is fucking traumatic. And I put chloroform these little girls. Wow. Yeah. Um, and so at this point, he we're back outside. The little girls are like knocked out. The, we see that the, the mom lawn. has never gotten up. And I was like, so oh, she damn. we think she's dead. Uh-huh. And so he's well, it still shows her. Um, I think in so the, in the trunk, right? Yeah, it shows her in the trunk and mm-hmm. she's like spitting up blood mm-hmm. and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, like kind of sputtering. And but she's not dead. Yeah. And then he walks off from her after he takes the axe from her hip. And I was like, boy, come on. This is, I was like, you can't walk Everybody off before needs you know. Everybody to double tap. Yeah. Whether you're the murderer or trying to kill the murderer. Exactly. Double I was taps. like, you can't walk off before you know that your victim is dead. Yeah. And then he leaves his axe in the ground, which I thought, again, would come into play as he was checking on the girls, but it didn't. So no. I, I did like how many times they faked me out because mm-hmm. there was, there was a lot of predictable routes that could have gone. Yeah. Um, but I was like, you can't just leave your axe lying around either. It was like, you are going to get hit with this axe. And then we have just basically the girls are knocked out. He's then like measuring their eyeball sockets with his knife because then he's going to go carve out the dolly. So I'm assuming he can take out their eyes and put them in there. And then you see uh, like. Kaylee wakes up. You see the dad's doll is already oh, completed. Yeah, it's yeah. got two his, eyeballs. And his, his arms. arms mm-hmm. Are sewn onto it. Yeah. <laughs> and I think his legs too. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's pretty fucked up. And Kaylee wakes up and she's like having to play this like, I'm not awake. I am awake because he keeps looking back at them. And then she's trying to wake up her little sister when Mm -hmm. at this point, um, I think that's whenever the mom. Yeah. Like uh, she comes in. Yeah. So he's already measured the eyeballs and then he took off the he said no more cloth arms. It's real arms time. Oh, Um, that's right. And And so he's going to cut. Yeah. He's like measuring her arm Mm -hmm. and homegirl is playing it remarkably calm for still being passed the fuck out Mm -hmm. or for not for for being being awake awake. yeah and she's just Um, pretending to be dead and he literally is like about to axe her and lifts the axe above his head and then you hear the music box yep and that's whenever you know like mom set off the music box he goes and finds it in the trunk Mm-hmm. of the vehicle and that's whenever she comes in from behind him and just starts attacking him yeah I said "Ooh, fuck come on mama mm-hmm. let's kick his ass yeah and then yeah he's like the way he was crouching as he was like going to investigate i was mm-hmm. like bitch you were the fucking mass murderer here Literally. like why are you like who, oh how the tables have turned creeping around like that boy <laughs> like, i don't know yeah. i'm also surprised he could hear that with how his ears mm-hmm. were all wrapped up mm-hmm. yeah so i was a little bit confused and so we have this really epic fight between mom and John, mm-hmm. uh, like super epic one where I'm just like, okay, where did she all of a sudden get all this strength from? Or is like, I'm sure it's the adrenaline and like all that. But I mean, like she really held up her own. Yeah. Um, And like got like thrown around and like, I don't think she didn't get stabbed. Did she? she, uh, she no, I think he just like, I think he kind of like, pushing her back because she had the axe at this point and was like just hacking at him but he tried to get it away from her a few times actually Mm -hmm. and it's the way at a certain point i thought like oh man no she's gonna die Mm -hmm. like he's oh no yeah i i there was a until she hits him in the back with that axe Mm -hmm. i thought i thought she's gonna die she was gonna get killed because it like really started not going her way for a Mm -hmm. second and then finally she kicks him back and then gets him in the back and he kind of goes down but I was like, yeah, that's not enough. Yeah. Um, but anyways, she runs off to go get the daughters. And it's like, oh, yay, they're safe. We got this nice glowy sunrise shot, you know. And Kayla's tr- got Maddie awake. Driving off. But, of course, Kaylee looks back. And where is the murderer? Yep. And it ends with the same little rhyme again. It's coming in as they're trying to go away. And then the, the engine sputters to a stop, too. Mm-hmm. It stops. And then it comes back. And so I was like, ooh. So You're like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, KK looks back and um, it says, at one point it said something like, the mouse guessed right and the crow flew away. Mm. Mm. Um, I wish the mom would have reversed and ran over this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, that would have made a lot more sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's disappeared and I was like, it, the, the way that it, the poem was going or something, it says mm. like, you have to be sure or he'll, he'll like, find you. He'll find you. Yeah. Yeah, and that's when KK goes, uh, where is he? And then so they're just kind of keep driving off and then it ends, yeah. which I kind of like that ending because it's like, 
Well, we don't know. They could literally Open die. They can die within the next five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or he could just keep chasing them for the rest of their lives because mm-hmm. he's already been watching them for a long time. I think maybe the creator made this with like the intention of like, well, if it gets picked up, I can make a sequel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, I don't <laughs> think it needs a sequel. No, it doesn't. My <laughs> final note. <laughs> yes, they These are. These girls are going to be psychos. They are going to be me. That sounds like a good title done. for a film. These girls are going to be psychos. I would watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a. Uh, that's. He's out there. I was, <laughs> um, yeah. I was, was about to say not that title. <laughs> <laughs> I was like about to say don't breathe. I'm like, that's the wrong movie. <laughs> <laughs> wrong film, you guys. He's out there. He's still there. He is. St- he is still there. Um. So uh, how many booze? I'm going to give this movie like two booze. Two booze. Two booze. I mean, and it's not like horrible. Yeah, because you had messaged me and you were like, have you watched it? I really liked it. Like, Like, I liked it. I like, I mean, uh, in hindsight now talking about certain things, it's like, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I I enjoyed it. Like, I thought it was a good little thrill ride. It Mm -hmm. actually kept me like thoroughly like because it's also you got it's literally like an hour and a half. Yeah. And and that's also why I like I love a good hour and a half movie Mm -hmm. because it's like I feel like, you know, once they get like that two hour, 222, like, like. Mark, I'm like, uh, I'm investing a lot of time there. Yeah. yeah, but an hour and a half, I can give an hour and a sweet half. Sweet spot. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Yes, it the, is. The sweet spot is a movie that's an hour and 26 minutes. Oh, mm. it is? Yeah. No, that would be a sweet oh. spot. Like, the hour and 26. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. I thought you were telling me that that was an actual movie. I was like, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm so dumb. Okay, your boo. Your boo. Uh, my boo. Um, Yeah, like you were saying, I did... I was invested in a lot of it. There was just a lot that I was like, uh, yeah. I really liked the overall premise. And like, maybe I wouldn't mind seeing a redone version of this with mm. like the same dude in which they just use Bigger less actors, cheesy approaches. Mary Kate and Ashley as the little girls. Yes. <laughs> Turn back in time. Yes. <laughs> I would. <laughs> They'd match. be like there with their little uh, mm, spyglass. Spyglass, little, uh-huh. yeah. Like, Monocle. let's see how we can figure out this murder. Mary Kate um, and Ashley take and on then murder. We'll go to Paris. Literally. <laughs> um, I would give it, yeah, yeah, probably. You can give it less than a two. I've never done that, but you know, I really liked like the guy's face mm-hmm. i did like that the i masking was didn't good. like how he talked i didn't like the filter i'm gonna give it a 1.5 1.5 yeah you heard it here first you yeah guys. pretty pretty low but i mean but it's still enjoyable enough to watch like i'm not <laughs> mad that i watched this film and i'm not like this was yeah. a colossal waste of my time because it no. wasn't yeah if anything i just like like i said i really wanted to like find something that like i hadn't seen before mm-hmm. and it did like it, it delivered exactly that i hadn't seen it before so yeah now i've seen it but mm-hmm. yeah Overall, not, not, too, not too shabby. So anyways, as always, we are in the lovely, lovely, lovely Rogue Media Network studios. Yes. They and take phenomenal care of us. They really do. Mm-hmm. Make sure you listen to all the other shows they got going on. Yeah. So many uh, like Poltergals is real fun. Mm-hmm. This little bite sized ghost stories for you. I was listening to that last night. Oh, beautiful. As I was. What was I doing? Oh, I was cooking. Yeah, mm. there we go. It's Maybe always it's a great time pasta. to listen to podcasts when you're yeah. cooking. Um, and you can find us on wherever you like to find your podcasts at, mm-hmm. which could be. I listen to m- most of mine on Apple, and iTunes. I, and I listen to mine on Spotify. There you go. But We've I, got yeah. both both sides of the podcasting we tracks do. here. It's a gradient. You can also find us on a lot of other podcasting platforms wherever you want to. We'll Just be there. Um, if you do listen to us, though, please don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. Please do so, because we would love to hear from you. Only way we can get ahead. Mm-hmm. Promise ya. And we would also... You can find us on exactly that's one right. social mm-hmm. media platform. We are on at Boo Bays Podcast. That's right. And that's on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And it's all... One word, Boo Bays, Bay A-E-S, and that's not babes, because... <laughs> We're your ba- bays, not your babes. <laughs> I know, it's okay. I think I might have fucked that up. Well, you said bay A-E-S. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I loved it, though. Hey, there That's we how go. you said bay, bay, it, bay. Nope. Okay. Mm, I anyways, can't talk. We like to have fun here. Well, All right, you guys. It's been fun. How blah, blah. We've got 2018. He's out there. Oh, two and a 1.5 from your mm-hmm. boo bays. So until next time. Bye, bays. Bye, bays.
This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day and for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial-grade supplies for every industry with same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders, all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call, click or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done.